There's universal agreement this is where serial rapists belong. But some avoid jail because they managed to convince the court the sex was consensual. And it came down to credibility. City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby helped convince the Senate committee to advance a bill that changes the law. The legislation will allow prosecutors to use the rapist's prior sex offenses as evidence at trial. Current law prohibits introducing someone's prior bad acts because it's considered prejudicial. Baltimore County Senator Jim Brochin is the bill sponsor. And then we have safeguards in there. First of all, it has to, you have to prove uh, by clear and convincing evidence that the allegation occurred. Secondly, uh, you have to tell the defense within 90 days uh, so they can prepare a counter. And thirdly, the probative value has to, weigh, has to outweigh the prejudicial value. Although the bill is moving in the Senate, it's meeting stiff opposition by one person in the House. Are, Judiciary find... Committee Chairman Joe Valario has the power to determine whether the legislation survives. The House has its own version. You don't want to move that one? The House bill. We'll be, if we work on it, we'll be working on the Senate bill. If we work on it. And why, why if and why not the House bill? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Most prominently is the courts make those decisions on what should come in and what should not come in. And uh, it's very hard to think about legislating in that area. Chairman Valario is a defense attorney. He believes the Judicial Rules Committee should make the decision or it happens through case law. It's a pretty drastic step, very drastic step, because somebody's accused of a crime that happened on this day, and they want to say, hey, look, you had a bad act. Now, how much of that bad act are you going to get into, especially when he was acquitted? That's the problem. You found guilty? No problem. The full Senate must pass the bill in order for its version to even get to the House committee. The city state's attorney is encouraging people to call their representatives, urging passage. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.